Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Born from Minnesota and his trusty cat. And this tutorial will be on the unit circle, radians, angles, and points. Now, if you want to learn this fast, this is the tutorial to watch. What you will learn, what the unit circle is, how degrees and radians relate, finding radian measure, and finding the XY exact coordinates of important radian measures, all under eight minutes. First, let's talk about what a unit circle is. What you're seeing is an XY coordinate grid. This is a plane with uh, pairs of coordinates. And a unit circle is centered at the origin. There it is, little unit circle with a radius of one. Let's zoom in to get a little bit of a closer look at it here. Okay, there we go. Now, radius of one means that I can lift out this little blue piece here and this is the radius and as you can see no matter where I hold it it's got a radius of 1 exactly. Now if we take that radius and we curve it, here's a curved piece. It's the same thing, it's curved and I've colored it purple. If we take this curved piece and we get a few more, one, two, three more of them, these will fit exactly uh, in the uh, circumference of the circle. But in just a second, you'll see, hang on. That there is just a tiny little piece left over. So the radius will fit around the top hemisphere of the circle three times plus a little bit extra. And this little bit extra, which uh, is right here, is 0.14 long. So it takes 3.14 radiuses, or radians, to fit around the top half of the circle. Okay, so let's move that little 0.14 piece in there. Okay, 3.14, that is pi. So around the very top half of the circle is pi radians, and the bottom half of the circle is another pi radians, so the complete circumference around a unit circle is two pi radians. This should be familiar. If we go to the uh, formula for the circumference of a circle, it's uh, circumference equals two pi r. Well, <laughs> since we've got a radius of one, that makes the math simple, right? There you go. So now you know how the formula got to be that way. Okay, now I'm going to tell you how radians and degrees relate. What you're seeing here is a slightly different picture of the unit circle, and the red side, which is moving around, is going to be called the terminal side, and the green side is going to be called the initial side. So um, I put it in your heads that a radian is a length, and I'm going to adjust this so that, there we go, the terminal side is one radian away from the initial side. So this is a, um, a length along the outer edge of the circle here. But a radian can also be describing the angle formed by the terminal side and the initial side right inside here. Okay, well, let's bring degrees into this. So there we go. We see this is 57 degrees, and that is the same thing as one radian. All right, well, it might not seem very natural, and they don't quite go together, but... Um, Let's just move this around here, and uh, we'll see where the logical matchups are. Uh, right here, at exactly halfway point, um, on the way to uh, one complete pi radian, this is uh, pi over two radians, and that's 90 degrees. And over here, we've got one fourth pi, or just pi over four, this is the same as 45 degrees. And over here, we've got 3 fourths pi is 135 degrees, and of course here is one complete pi, and that's 180 degrees. Uh, but there's a few other uh, there's a few other important ones. There is 30 degrees, which is 1 sixth pi. 60 degrees, which is 1 third pi. 120 degrees, and although the radians didn't make it look nice. This is actually two-thirds pi, or fourth-sixth pi. And over here, 150 degrees, which is five-sixth pi. 
Okay, let's move on. Let's talk about how to convert degrees into radians. The formula for converting degrees to radians is degrees divided by 180 times pi. So I'm going to move this randomly here and just kind of put it there. And we see we've got 72.06 degrees. All right, let's bring in a calculator and try to convert that. 72.06 divided by 180 and multiply that by pi. 1.2576 and that is the angle in radians. Okay, so let's convert between given radians to get a degree measure. Here's the formula for doing that. You take your radians, divide it by pi, and then multiply by 180. Here is the calculation for that. I encourage you to give this a try on your calculator. Just put in 3 fourths times pi divided by pi times 180, and there we go, 135 degrees. Okay, we're on to the last part. This is the complete unit circle, and I'm going to show you how you can find the various points of interest, the xy coordinates of places along the edge of the unit circle. What you're looking at is the upper right quarter of the unit circle. Take a look here at the coordinates for 30 degrees or pi over 6. The x coordinate is square root 3 over 2 and the y coordinate is 1 half. So think of this as being part of a triangle with the vertical leg on the bottom being square root 3 over 2 long on the x-axis and being 1 half high on the y-axis. And naturally the hypotenuse is one unit long. Now here's where sine and cosine come into play. If you take the sine of pi over 6, you will get one half. And if you take the cosine of pi over 6, you will get square root 3 over 2. Now when you do this in your calculator, you'll get a long decimal. But you can confirm that this is square root 3 over 2 by typing it in and taking a look. A final word on uh, some strategies for helping you to memorize some of these xy coordinates along the outer edge. Look for symmetry. Uh, look and see how similar and different the 30 degree and 60 degree mark are. Notice that all the starting x coordinates for everything on the left side of the y axis is negative. And uh, keep in mind, the only numbers that you have to memorize are 1 half, square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2. All right, well, hey. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button if this was helpful and share it with your friends and your teacher. All right, bye.